Hello everyone, I'm David with Softron. Now I'm doing a little bit of a technical review on the JL Cooper Slow Mo Pro. So we just received this and with some developments, we've already been able to make it uh, control and replay. So you can see my screen now and you can see the hardware unit. And so it's pretty easy to control. I can quickly change my output camera channels. That's pretty easy. I can then hit stop if I want to, uh, rewind in full playback playback and you can see in M replay i'm now seven seconds behind i can easily click the replay button and it's going to take me back to live now of course if i want to scroll even further back it's just really easy using the shuttle wheel hit play and i can also do a mark in and i can do a mark out and that's going to make a clip and so of course i can use that in my playlist and i can even do markers so i have one right here store queue so we have that marker to refer to. And of course, it's really simple to just start slowing down these uh, playbacks. So let's see, let's find an interesting shot here. Uh, him passing the ball, I can immediately slow it back down and bring it back up. Now, I think this Slow Mo Pro is an exciting addition to the hardware compatibility for M Replay. I do like the number pad. I think a lot of users will enjoy being able to type a time code, maybe type a time code of delay they choose to use. Uh, and I also think there's a lot of options for us getting to cues and going to markers and going back and reusing those. And it's pretty clear on the panel. So look forward to uh, new developments as those come.